Hi, welcome to Popular Self-Help with your friend, Dr. S. Last week's show was about the power of smells to make us happy. It seemed to have a very profound effect on a lot of our viewers. Let me share with you a letter I received this week from a Ms. Gail Hutchinson of Marmar of a Mar 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 New York. Dear Dr. S, thank you for your wonderful show about aromatherapy and the healing powers of the sense of smell. I was so inspired by your show, I wrote you a poem has a rather long title, but it's called I'd Like to Visit You in Town, but my aromatherapist says that I should avoid carbon monoxide. But here's the part I like. Right underneath the title, she wrote, I dedicate this poem to the wonderful Dr. S for showing me the power of smells in controlling and enhancing my happiness. Unfortunately, her poem is not very good, and so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time reading the poem to you today. But I just wanted to share that wonderful sentiment that she she put in her letter. And and Gail, thank you, thank you for that dedication. And if you ever write any better poetry, feel free to dedicate that to me, too. These are hard times. There's wars, disease, hunger in the world. We live in times where we're divided amongst ourselves. There's economic uncertainty. Are we going to lose our jobs? There's a health crisis. Are we going to lose our loved ones to the pandemic? Times like this, it's normal to feel depressed. When you find yourself feeling down like this, let me assure you, you have the key within you for your own happiness. Think about that. You, within yourself, have the means of being happy. What this means is when you're unhappy, it's your own fault. One of the keys to happiness in life is looking for opportunities to take a mundane, boring, depressing, meaningless life and turn it into something just a little bit less horrible. One of the ways to do that is to look for opportunities to make your own sound effects. That's right, sound effects, you know. Those goofy, wacky noises you hear in kids' cartoons all the time? How can sound effects help you? That's easy. You make your own. How many times in your life have you put ketchup on a piece of bread? If you're like me, chances are you put ketchup on bread several times maybe even dozens of times, every day. And yet, how interesting is that? Not very interesting, is it? Now, let's try it again. But try it this way. Wasn't that more fun? Here I am at the sink, getting ready to use a washcloth. B 
big deal, right? Everybody does this. Now try it this way. Wasn't that so much better? How often do you crumple up a piece of paper, say some bad poetry or something, and just toss it into the trash or the paper recycle without really enjoying it? We all have paper we need to throw out or recycle. Could be junk mail, it could be an old letter from someone we don't like anymore, could be bad poetry. No big deal. Right? You take it and toss it out. That's a wasted opportunity. Remember, when you're sad, it's your own fault. Let me assure you, no matter how sad you are or how depressed you are, it is impossible to stay depressed when you do this. Didn't that cheer you up? It's your life. You don't have to settle for average, normal, boring, everyday sounds like uh, you have the power within yourself to go boing every time you do that. Take advantage of that power. Make your life a little more interesting. That's all we have time for today. But remember today's lesson. A better life through sound effects. Make your own sound effects. Boing! Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Popular Self-Help. I'm your host, Dr. S. And remember, no matter how bad your life is, there's always somebody worse off than you. And keep happy.